Hey, 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 hi everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying a lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'm going to show you two methods on loading a VRM file into Autodo. So let's get started. So the method number one um, being the onboarding assistant. This is the most uh, recommended method to loading your VRM file as it's just much more easier for beginners to just understand how to get things started. Not just loading the VRM model, but also getting your uh, motion capture started. So you can click on get started here. And then from here, you can click on the open characters folder. And this is where you can be able to import your VRM file. So as you can see, I have my VRM file here. So all you have to do is, you know, export your model from Roid or download the VRM file from elsewhere. And then all you just have to do again, click on open characters folder and just click and drag the VRM file in here. Like you see how I have here. And then once you have that, you can then click on the drop down here, find the model of choice, let's say test champ for example, and then you're able to load your VRM model just like that. You can click okay and you can go through, uh, let's say yes, recommend for me and just answer this questionnaire and stuff. So that way you can be able to, again, you know, if you're a first time user of VTubing in general, you can go through that and kind of get started with doing motion capture stuff by setting up your web camera. Now I don't have my camera enabled, uh, but you just kind of get the point. That's just how you can load your VRM file. I'll just say note for the import. I'll say background needs to be transparent. And that's pretty much one method you're able to load your VRM model. And again, you'll have to set up your webcam or your iPhone, whichever tracking method you want to use. Now, the other method, which I'm going to go ahead and reload the scene real quickly to demonstrate the other method, simply go into characters right here, go into main properties up here, and then go to the uh, open characters folder button here, and you can again be able to import your uh, the VRM file into this folder that appears. Again, as you can see with TestChan and TestCoon, their VRM files are here, and these are Void models. So just put your VRM file in this folder like so, and then the drop down box, uh, you can choose whether TestChan or TestCoon. I'll choose TestCoon in this case, and again the VRM file there. Uh, do keep in mind though that doing this uh, does not make motion capture work automatically, even if you were to add an asset here. In order to do motion capture or setting up your web camera so it tracks your face, you have to go under motion capture and go through the setup process here, uh, saying to either iPhone or your web camera, so media pipe, scroll down, hit OK, set this to media pipe again, scroll down, hit OK. And that way your motion capture is set up for the VR model. Now, of course, there's more settings you can go through, but I have other tutorials that kind of go over some of these stuff that you can do. Also, as a little side note, yes, you should be able to import VRM 1.0 models in Wadudo as well, although it's not entirely recommended to use VRM 1.0 due to the fact that most VTubers and developers tend to focus on VRM 0, otherwise known as Legacy, than VRM 1.0, because with how VRM 1.0 is set up, is kind of buggy and again we're already too used to the legacy version so if you have to use your 1.0 you can but just know that most vtubers would prefer either the wadudo avatar format or just legacy vrm for convenience sake use your 1.0 at your own risk but otherwise though for them in a nutshell that's pretty much how you can set up um, or how you load your VR model, especially if it's Void, into Wadudo. I hope that this tutorial helps you out and have a lovely day. Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership, so if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way though, with that being said though, hey, 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 goodbye bye everyone! I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye!